are here. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, August. What day is it today? 12? 12. 12, August 12, 2017. It's a Saturday, so today we're going to be, uh, we're starting a little early because Saturday is our confession day. So we'll, uh, we try to um, get this thing over and done with uh, about five, ten minutes before uh, our usual time to go to Mass because we'd like to be there a little early so we could uh, sit in the confession line. We go to confession every week, all of us do, so. We try to just be ahead uh, of the line because, you know what? Plenty of people have been going to confession now with our parish, and that's a good thing. Okay, so today, um, today's you know Saturday, so it's the maybe the last day of the week we're gonna do this. I know if we can do it tomorrow. Sunday is a little bit more uh, cumbersome for us. Um, but first of all, I'd like to thank everybody who have liked. Um, the videos. Um, I recently uh, put together a page on Facebook. It's facebook.com uh, Catholic be uh, forward slash Catholic best practices. So uh, I haven't asked for likes, but if you uh, might want to go and and like the page, I'd appreciate it very much. And then please share. Please share. A lot of people have asked me also about sharing. So uh, please go ahead and share because if you think that uh, this whole project is benefiting people, then uh, it's a good idea perhaps to um, share it with everybody else, right? So thank you for all your encouragement. And uh, because of that, we'll uh, just continue doing what we're doing. I also posted a new uh, welcome video. I replaced the old one um, on the uh, Facebook page. So that explains a little bit more about what we do. Why am I, why am I doing it? So. Okay, the gospel for today comes from St. Matthew, chapter 17, verses 14 to 20. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him and said, Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him and the demons came out of him. And from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, why could we not drive it out? That's a very important question. Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, because of your little faith. Amen, I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. That's as far as the gospel of today goes. But that particular passage uh, if we look it up uh, in the New Testament, there are a few other phrases that continue after that. And I, wanna, I want to dwell on those points, um, uh, on, on that phrase that this particular gospel does not include. And it says, uh, but, see, so nothing will be impossible to you, but this kind, meaning that kind of demon, that they were trying to expel, which they could not expel, can only be cast out by prayer and fasting. By prayer and fasting. So not only is faith required in, in, uh, in trying to do the great things that God has entrusted the apostles to do, which is, uh, you know, preach the word of God and uh, and perform miracles uh, as a way of of um, spreading the gospel, as a way of um, making people understand the uh, significance of uh, of uh, this new covenant, the New Testament that our Lord came to inaugurate on earth, right? But He says not only faith is required, but prayer and fasting. 
prayer and fasting. Why can we not cast it out? Not only because you have little faith, but also because you don't pray and fast enough. Okay? Fasting there, of course, is a word for sacrifice. And uh, we have just talked about mortification yesterday, right? The, the need for a spirit of mortification. We only talked about that yesterday. So, uh, and here our Lord in this particular gospel uh, reinforces the need for prayer and mortification if we are to, to uh, express our faith. The fullness of our faith can be expressed through prayer and mortification. If we want to ask things from God, if we want to do great things, it is not enough for us to just say, Lord, Lord, right? like how he uh, reprimanded the Pharisees before. Lord, Lord, uh, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Here our Lord tells us, we need faith. We need to believe that God can really do these great things we ask him to do. We need to be convinced of the fact that God is omnipotent, that God can do all things, and that we are just instruments that he uses to carry out the good things that he wants to do in our soul and, and for others. The good things he wants to do to other people on earth. He just uses us as instruments for doing that. And that is something we need to be convinced about. We don't do great things. We don't do all the good that we're doing because we are ourselves so great and so, so magnificent, so awesome that, that all the good we do is all because of us. Well, no. Eh? No, that's not the case. It's God, we have to understand it is God who's doing the work in souls. It is God who's doing the great things that, that happen, uh, not only to our lives, but to, the, to other people and, and to the rest of the world. Right? But if we want to ask God for all of these good things, we need to have faith. And, but not only faith, but also prayer and fasting. We need to pray. We need to fast. And I'd like to emphasize the idea of fasting here, the, the idea of mortification, which I think uh, plenty of people forget. Many times when we pray, we just keep asking, petitioning. We pray for, we stay for many hours uh, uh, at church uh, 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 petitioning God for the things we, we like, the things we, we need. Right? Remember our Lord also said, God, your Father already knows what you need before you even ask Him. Right, but why does God still encourage us to pray? Why does God, why does God still want us to pray? Because that is an expression of our faith. That is an expression of the of our own belief that God is capable of giving these things to us. But at the same time, let us not forget that He encourages us to mortify. See, He encourages us to uh, to perform some mortification, some fasting some sacrifice as a way of petitioning him for the things that we want. Now here is an important point. Why is fasting important in prayer? Why is fasting important in prayer? Why is sacrifice important in prayer? It is important for one very, excuse me, specific, uh, uh, aspect of petition and that is the purity of our intention okay? the purity of our intention God wants to assure that when we ask him for things when we pray for things that our intention for asking these things is only for the good that it will bring to us and to others okay it is always intended for the good. And if we pray for things that are not good for us, well, you already know the answer, right? It's going to be a no, as we were talking about the other day, right? Because God is the author of good. He will only want good things for us. So he wants to assure that we understand that what we are asking for is something good. And it's not for our own selfish motives alone. Now, to assure that, to help to help ourselves, assure ourselves that we're only praying for what is good. He wants us to mortify ourselves. He wants us to show that purity of intention by, 
mortifying ourselves, making our body pray at the same time. Okay? It is a way of purifying our intention. So for example, let's give an example. Let's say you, you have a test to do in school, right? Of course, we don't have too many tests here because we homeschool. But let's just say for those other kids who, uh, who, who want to, uh, to, to pass a test in school, Okay? And they pray, 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 and say, oh, please, please, make me pass, make me pass, you know, make me pass. Uh, but why do you want to pass? Why do you want to pass a test? Is it because your mommy promised you uh, a toy if you pass a test? Or is it because your mommy promised you a new pair of uh, uh, Nike shoes if you pass a test? Or is it because it's going to be a trip to Disneyland if you pass your test? Or you... So if those are the reasons, then your intention is not good. Your intention is not pure. And most likely, most likely, you're not going to get what you want. Right? But if you put the effort to mortify yourself as you petition for that intention, then it's, it's a proof that... that um, your intention is good, that you want to ask God for something so that something good comes out of it, so that you actually learn and not just pass the test. So what kind of mortification should you put in place so that you can obtain the good things you're praying for, like passing a test? What do you think would be the sacrifice you can put in place? Huh? Okay, what, Jana? You have to. Don't just gesture because they cannot hear you. We're videoing this. Okay. Huh? You have to? Focus. You have to focus. There you go. You have, okay, well, all of the things we've been doing, right? You, you have to concentrate. You don't get distracted while you're studying, right? What else? What else? Um, have to, <laughs> have to work harder for it, right? Okay, huh? To persevere while you're studying, right? First of all, maybe to follow your schedule of your school work, right? That you want you have, you have to be here doing your school work. Okay? So very little sacrifices like those that would accompany your prayer to pass a test, right? Now, for folks out there who, uh, you know, adults out there who might be asking for bigger things, like for example, pray, pray, pray for a promotion, pray, pray, pray for a promotion at work. Well. You pray for a promotion at work. Why? Is it just for your own ego? Is it just so that you get a raise in salary? So that you'll have more money to spend in a casino? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure if those are the good, best intentions you can have, right? To petition God for uh, such a great favor as uh, being promoted at work, right? But... If, if you, your intention is pure, then perhaps you're going to put the mortification, the, the, uh, the sacrifice, to achieve it. Like what? Well, you're going to work harder. You're going to put more effort to be punctual at work, right? You're going to be put more effort to be nice to your co-workers. Uh, you're going to put more effort to um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, be more orderly and, and present, uh, I mean, work well. I mean, all the, all the trimmings of of working well should be put in place and that is part of the F of mortification of the sacrifice that you put in place to accompany your prayer for that um, that promotion that you ask for right so let's remember that purity of intention is always an important part of the things we pray for and that God is only going to grant our prayer if our intentions are pure and to help in that purity of intention, to help us purify our intentions for prayer, sacrifice is an important component. To sacrifice ourselves, to deny ourselves, as we were talking about yesterday, to deny ourselves uh, the legitimate pleasures of this world uh, is an important component of purifying our intention. So uh, let's keep that in mind uh, as we... As we um, you know, think about praying and think about um, uh, 
how we ask God for the things we want from God. Okay? So, yes, Shabelle, you got a question? What is that? What is that? Shabelle is gesturing. Oh, it's time to go to church. Okay, yeah, okay. So, yep, well, that's it for us, folks. And um, until uh, maybe next week, I'm not sure if we're going to have any episode tomorrow. We will try, but Sunday is normally uh, a tough time for us to... Uh, just get ready for Sunday Mass. We uh, we go to the 9 o'clock uh, Latin Mass. Uh, and, um, you know, the boys uh, serve in that Mass. So, And uh, all of us uh, are in the choir of that Mass. So we got to be uh, at church a lot earlier to practice for the choir and uh, the boys to be there for uh, serving Mass. So I hope that was helpful for today. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye. Too. Come on, let's get ready to go. Okay, press finish.